Hey everybody, Iron here. Uh, welcome back to Snowplime Simulator for Snow. To kind of bring you guys into the loop, I had some issues um, with the game uh, between the first and second episode. So I forgot to save the game and I accidentally clicked return to Windows when I meant to do something else. I, I clicked return, uh, start new game. Um, and there's no autosave feature, so I lost everything I was doing, so I had to go back and do it all. But then the game bugged after I bought the snowplow with wheels on it, so I had to, once again, do a third one, because uh, I didn't have saves that were current. So this is actually my third playthrough of the game at this point. Um, so you can see me actually going in here and clicking, yes, I need to save. Um, so what we're going to do next here is we're actually going to buy the uh, scraper on wheels. Uh, this is a nice little addition. Uh, it's actually a wider base. Uh, it can hold more snow and it's a little more fun to work with. All right, so just kind of waiting around now uh, for the scraper to show up before we really uh, push through on our next stuff. Um, cleaning up the information tabs here. Unfortunately, some of them you can't really reach the tab or the little uh, delete icon. So, you know, you just kind of live with that little icon up there. And here's the weather station. Um, I never really clicked on it until just now. So it shows you what the weather is coming up and the time. So currently it's 1 a.m. Uh, fresh powder. So I assume that as the game goes on, uh, more and more snow accumulates in areas. Oh, good. Our scraper on wheels is here. Um, so now we finally got something that's a little bit quicker. And here we are testing it out. Uh, I managed to scoop up some snow. I don't know from where. And then it dropped it right in the middle of the driveway. Uh, no big deal, though. We don't have to really worry about this. So I'm um, going to close up everything here. And we're going to hop back in the truck. And I know I mentioned at the end of episode one, but uh, the FPS issues seem to be better if I do a third-person camera when I'm driving it. Uh, so it's a lot smoother and easier to record now at this point. And I love this truck. Um, I love the lights on top. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, that's... <laughs> I think we need to call a tow truck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's hard to get out of. Um, so, as I was saying, I love this truck. I love the model. And I love the lights on top. But just a nice little touch of a snowplow truck is having your lights on top, you know, so everybody could see you as you're plowing. Um, so I'm really excited to buy a plow and slap it on this thing and get to work. All right, so we're actually heading over to the next house here. Um, let's see. It is Roscoe O'Keefe. Uh, I recommend a small scraper. All right. Wow. If you look at the mini map, we got a lot to do in here. So I guess the thing we'll do here is actually just start making a small, quick pathway. And, and once again, we're fighting the game regarding edges of the walkway. It hates me so much when I try to plow too close to the edge of the walkway. But we got a nice little opening here. So now it's a little bit easier to use this. Oh. Oh, boy. That means there's a ton of snow in here. And I'm not going to be able to get my way out. I actually brought up the small scraper. I didn't need time. I have to get my shovel out here. Oh, boy. I hope the whole path is not like this. Because that's going to be a lot to scrape. Or uh, not scrape, but shovel through. Yeah, so we need to get this pile knocked down. Definitely a lot of snow. I mean, he's picking up about 25 pounds of snow per scoop. That cannot be fun. All right. Oh, wow. I don't know if I got unlucky or what, but these people got a lot of snow in their pathway. Let's see. Nope. So this thing can push about 580 pounds of snow before it gives up and dumps. So it's definitely better than the small scraper without the wheels, but boy, oh boy, it does not help when you got somebody that literally has like years of snow piled up on their walkway. So I'm trying to see if the back or the right side is easier to get through. 
and it is still pretty tough. But we're going to go ahead and get it cleaned up, at least here for now. Oh, there we go. That was a nice push. We, oh, oh, here we go again. Fighting the edge of the path. Just, there, there we go. Yeah. All right, we'll just kind of push it into here. All right, so not bad there. Let's see if maybe if I can cut the a little bit on the side and get through. That's a lot better. So if I don't attack it head on, then I can push it a little bit easier. All right, so let's go back to here and see what we can do. And not too bad if I just try to push it off to the side here. But I still got to deal with this, and I don't know. Oh yeah, it's still in the way. Maybe if I attack it from this side? No. Yeah, we're just going to have to dig this out. All right, and just kind of keep w knocking away at it. Once again, the ground looks like it's grass. <laughs> so I don't know if these people have like odd walkways or if they're just that paranoid about having snow in their yard. But hey, as long as they're paying me, we're going to keep doing it. All right, so let's go ahead and get our scraper with... Uh, Jeez Louise. It is not... I'm just going to have to dig it out even more, I guess. All right. Now I kind of wish we had a larger shovel <laughs> that maybe went a little bit quicker, because this is so deep that I'm going to have to take huge chunks of it out to even use a push shovel. Oh, missed that one, but that's okay. Yeah, at which point does it become easier just to use a shovel to clean this out than it is to use a push scraper that just constantly fills up and creates a huge amount of snow you gotta once again dig out. Alright. Uh, so let's go ahead and just try to clean up these little spots. And we'll push through and it just once again. And it's just not making it the distance. My poor guy is going to be so beat up at the end of this. Like at which point does it become too much? And you're just like, you know what? I'm, I don't care about the money. One thing I really enjoy that I started noticing here is that um, when you highlight the snow that you're digging, um, as soon as you let go of it, your guy kind of goes into like a little bit of a night blindness and then his eyes regain on the darkness. It's a very weird thing. It seems like it gets brighter. It, I think it becomes a little more obvious later on, especially when it's really dark out. Thankfully, the, whoever's home is watching me and keeping the lights on inside. So I have more light outside to work with. And this must have been a wicked blizzard that came through, because look at, look ahead, it's just bad. Like, I barely made it a couple feet. So we're just going to have to keep shoveling out at this point. Oh, there it is. There's that weird, it gets dark. Yeah, I was getting a little cold and need some food, but there's that kind of like weird darkness thing that happens. I don't know if it's intended or if it's just a byproduct of using the glow feature and then you gotta readjust your eyes. Yeah, because it's getting, you see how dark it's getting? And then my eyes bring back up. Alright, so pushing went a lot better there. I was a lot. Way happier with that. Let's see if we can push over here. Oh, nope. It's just jam-packed here. So I'm going to try to slowly just kind of... Nope. That's not working either. I wish I could have kind of just creeped part of it out of there.
All right, let's get back to it then. We'll just kind of clear a pathway here. And then... Just work on taking out as much as we can with the shovel. What's even crazier is that this guy is, if we're actually making him work day and night non-stop. No sleep. Uh, no, no breaks at all. It's kind of just working outside. I can only imagine the homeowners are kind of staring outside going, is he going to ever stop? All right, so here we are. We're going to give it a another shot, but that is still too much for us to handle. Now, I think later on, you're actually going to see me bring over the snow plow uh, on the tractor. Unfortunately, I think that's only limited to the house where it's at. So I know some of you might be saying, you know, why are you doing this when you have a tractor that had a plow on it? I'm pretty sure I brought it over and I couldn't do anything with it. It just kind of ran through the snow. It wouldn't push it or anything. And eventually I kind of figure out the strategy to doing snow like this. So I'm going to give you all a spoiler right now. What I should have been doing is finding the tall spots in the snow and using the small shovel to dig them out and then coming through with the scraper and cleaning the rest out. You cause yourself such a big problem when you try to push the snow uh, before you kind of handle the spots with large amounts of snow. Ideally, in this area, what I would have done was grab my small shovel, found the mountains of snow, knocked those out, and then came through with this uh, scraper on wheels and just finished up the rest. Now, I can see here it's kind of going a little bit better for me. But I still got to bust out this small shovel and dig out the rest. So my thoughts so far is this game's actually been really fun. Um, the more I play it, the more I kind of figure out how the systems work and it becomes a lot uh, more fun to, uh, play. And I'm kind of hoping, um, to get, uh, more equipment to mess with around in this demo, but we'll see. All right. So not bad. We're at 22%. Kind of got... Almost a quarter done here. Let's try... Yeah. Yeah, so we tried that again and still, unfortunately, too much. Now, what if I... If I kind of trim it off at the sides, it comes a little bit easier to work with. And then we can dump it off. Beautiful. And we just got to take this little patch out right here. So now here you can kind of see it's like it's like an asphalt or so you you know this is like a park or somewhere where they park the cars or like a driveway or something like that. But I swear there's spots where it's just supposed to be grass texture <laughs> and we're shoveling grass for people. Alright, so this is gonna be fun. So we're actually gonna dig out some of this before you even try to scrape it. Now, kind of wondering. Actually, I'm not even wondering. I'm just saying to myself, I need to. Uh, my OCD needs to, you know, scrape up these small areas. There we go. Oh. Let's see if we can trim it off at the side. Oh, that went a lot better. Eh, for the most part. But I think it's more of an exercise in frustration. 
at points where I should just whip out the small shovel and go for it. And that went pretty well. Oh, that was just no good. Okay, so... This is the point where I'm actually looking around and going, can I bring that plow here? And I realize there's some gates uh, that I can open up. And I get a warning that I'm too cold, so I drink my uh, coffee or tea and I eat some food really quick. Then I open this up and say, I'm going to go grab that dang tractor with the plow and bring it over here. Because in my mind, it makes sense. I just borrow this thing from them and take it over to the neighbor's house and clean out their uh, yard. I mean, it makes sense. They probably just like, yeah, go ahead. And then we jump on this thing and silently steal it. <laughs> uh, there's no sound, so the neighbors have no idea if I took it and did something with it. All right, so we kind of make our way over here. Then I'm like, oh, yeah, this is great. Let's drop this down and just push the snow through. And it doesn't really, I don't know if it works at this point. Because you can see that the the meter for it is not filling up. And I ran to get stuck here. But you can see the meter is not really it's being like, hey, you're, this is how much snow you're pushing. It really seems like what's happening is as I drive through it, it clears the snow just because the tractor is driving on top of it. Uh, so then I realize, I don't know if this is going to work or not, so we'll just kind of park it there. No one seems to be worried about it. So I'm kind of looking around now and I'm saying, how much effort will this require? And you can see my little guy up top there going walking around in the blue snow so yeah i'm just trying to get an idea and then yeah, in here they got a weird corner tv it's kind of looking at that amazed but once again i'm not gonna knock this game this is a simulation game this is more about gameplay than anything i'm never gonna knock these games for anything like that anything it adds to charm and quirkiness to it and i love it If we all knocked some of the great uh, simulator games like Farming Simulator 22 for in, in-house graphics, then we'd all be sad and not have anything fun to play. Alright, so I'm just working on getting some bigger chunks of snow out so I can push with this scraper. Now I'm kind of hoping that I can cut uh, diagonally through here and just push it off. Hopefully it's... A, yeah, it worked for a second. And then eventually Future Me is going to hate past me for what I was doing through here. Because I could have solved this a lot easier. So what we're going to do is shovel out once again. You see it's morning. We managed to work through all the entire night. They get 36% of a house shoveled out. Now I'm looking here and I'm like, okay, let's get this big pile of snow knocked away. And the turning actually feels good while you're shoveling. I know there'll be major complaints that it's not like precision turning, but it feels like it's proper for how it turns while you're shoveling snow. It's not like you're turning on a dime. Uh, instead, you're kind of digging and slowly turning that way. So now that I got some of the major snow out of the way, I'm using my scraper on wheels to kind of just push everything off to the side in an easier manner. And it's definitely a million times easier than trying to push the long way through here. I 
right now my cleanliness. Got to have everything perfect kicking in there. So once again, oh, I'm sorry. Once again, the game yells at me. So I drink some tea and we move forward. So ideally, yeah, I should be just be focusing on those large, tall groups and knocking them out just like this. That makes it easier to bring the scraper through in the end. One thing you can always say about this game is that as you work through a house, you can definitely see the improvement as you make your way through. So we'll go through here really quick and just clean up these patches while we're around. And I guess there's barely any snow there, so then it it's like zero pounds until I get all the way over there, which is nice. And you can see the different levels of snow. Uh, as you walk through and stuff like that, you actually flatten it and get rid of it too. It makes me curious if you can kind of just like... If you're not trying to play this realistically, you could just bring the uh, tractor here and drive across all of it. So indiscriminately shoving snow and just throwing it everywhere. Not too worried about where it's going to land. And that's my pathway from walking around earlier. And we'll get rid of this large bout of snow, too. Alright. Need to work through this mountain. I do like, too, that as I shovel uh, my guy walking, uh, you can see his foot come through on the left side, and it actually clears some snow. Uh, which is nice. Just kind of helps out in the overall feel of things. He helps clear snow by stepping on it and it just vanishes. You can see he's actually lifting heavy amounts of snow. 58 pounds of snow. 64. This dude is a beast, basically. We're actually slowly approaching the 50% mark, which is nice. Uh, turn here, and it, oh, it's getting dark out. You can see me actually turn off the uh, the filter there. Because it's kind of getting like a weird blindingness to it. All right, and then we'll go ahead and scrape through here. And I'm really happy with that push right there. That's a lot better than what I was doing before. All right. All right lined it up. Sorry for the brief pause, but I'm going to line it back up and get going. Now, one thing that does drive me insane is the little splotches like that. And that's not the game's fault. That is, uh, you know, you gotta go through and clean up those spots on your own. Alright, cool. Now, I do get a little confused as to why it's missing those areas right there. So, you actually gotta... If your scraper is not grabbing it for some reason, you're best off just immediately grabbing your small shovel and cleaning it out. Because the scraper, for some reason, will not hit certain areas. And I don't know why at this point. So I'm getting reminded again here that it's cold outside. So we'll warm back up, eat some food. I 
and then we'll make our way to the back of the house and start pushing. All right. So I meant to switch to my small shovel here and just start digging because the second I highlighted it and kind of looked at how deep the snow was, I realized that pushing is barely an option. So we'll rely heavily on this shovel to get us through here. I mean, given how deep the snow is too, I mean, he is throwing 63 pounds, it looks like, 65 pounds of snow at a time. Like, this is like, has to be three to four feet of snow. So we kind of choo-choo-choo our way over here to the end, non-stop. I think we're on... Oh man, are we pushing like day two of oh, just straight shuffling? <laughs> Alright, let's try it. Uh, nope. Yep. Oh, thought I could uh thought I could use my scraper on wheels, but no luck. I gotta knock this thing down a little bit. Oh, it looks like the uh stepping on the snow knocked some of the pile out for me too, which is nice. Alright, so let's try the scraper again then. Maybe we'll get a nice clean line down here. Oh. Uh, almost. It really likes grabbing snow from the side, even if you're like barely touching it, like it scoops up as much as it can. So we'll just knock that mountain down and then we'll go get this plateau over here. Hopefully that makes it easier for us. And like I mentioned before, this this is really the strategy that you'll want to go with is knock out all the tall areas with your snow shovel and then come through with the scraper. It's way easier in the end. And the tutorial actually says that's what you should do. <laughs> and me being uh, what I think is the god gamer of simulation games, just kind of ignore that. And then I realize that shouldn't be ignored. All right. So we got this little pathway here we need to push through. Hoping we can sneak to the end. Oh, almost. That was close, though. Alright. I like this little pathway. I don't know why they want this little pathway cleared out, but... The price is right. We'll get it done. So we'll kind of clean that off and then scoot over here and... Get another massive load of snow. it out really quick. Got to go for that 100%. So, yeah, this is going to be a fun one. Let's knock this down a little bit. All right. I got some here too that I need to knock down. Alright, seems like it's a little deep here, so... And then let's take a look around and kind of see what we need to work with. Now what I'm thinking about here is how am I going to... Start pushing snow, where am I going to push it? Off to the sides is what I'm thinking. So I'm just trying to get an idea of where I'm going to put the snow at. Now you can see that it misses that whole section right there, which is so odd. And I I wish I knew why. But yep, we're just gonna bust the shovel out and keep going. Now my poor guy's starving if we look up to the top left. He's probably burned through like eight days of calories in two <laughs> just from doing this. I don't even think I know where this area is, what this area is supposed to be. I don't know if it's supposed to be, like, up in the mountains. All I know is it's supposed to, like, a, from the description, it's like a small, sleepy town that we're going to find out about in the full game. I'm hoping that they 
have larger shovels and stuff too. It looks like kind of looking at the uh, menu, or not the menu, but the uh, shop in the game. Uh, it looks like there's a ton to unlock when it comes to just hand tools, let alone plows and stuff like that. So I think we got a lot to work with. I kind of cleared that out. Um, not ideal that I did the whole way like that. Would have saved me some time if I would have just focused on the tall parts like this first. Yeah, one thing I haven't really thought about, but the snow sounds really good too. Like the walking on snow sounds right. Has that crunch to it. And then the same with the snow, or the snow shovel. It really sounds like you're actually getting a full scoop of snow. <laughs> now, there might be people watching this that don't deal with snow at all, but as someone from uh, the Midwest and Northeast, you know, we get it in my region. Alright, so the game is complaining, so I'm going to eat and warm back up. You can kind of see that the scraper is going good here, for the most part. I'm not going to complain about that. That was a good run. But what I'll do is I'll just get the shovel out and we'll kind of just knock it down. I think this game would kill me if you used the small shovel and it actually threw the snow around you instead of just getting rid of it completely. Oh, I probably would have just been pulling my hair out the whole time. <laughs> So, looks a little bit better, so we'll give it a shot here. And oh boy, that night blindness is coming back. Alright, that looks a lot better. I'm happy with that. Now we gotta try to get all this out. Yeah, they're in missing parts again, which is so weird. But that was great. At least I didn't get stopped in the middle of my push. I had to shovel it all out. Let's hope we can make it all the way on this one. Kind of steered away from some of the snow. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Oh, I don't think we made it. Oh, I did it. I was so close. So we'll clean this out then. So it's not a problem in the future when we got to push over here. All right, and then let's just... Uh, Tackle these hills while we're at it. Oh, that weird snow blindness. There it is. That's a great example of it. Everything's so bright. As soon as you stop, your eyes like have to readjust. I don't know if it's intended or not, but I kind of like it and I kind of don't like it. I guess in the end, I'll just deal with it. Yeah, so now I'm going to take the approach of actually clearing out these mountains here. I don't know, have you guys ever had to deal with snow like this? Because I'll tell you what, I've dealt with snow like this before. I was lucky enough to be handed down a snow blower. So, I don't have to worry about shoveling too much. I shovel on when it's, when it's light snow outside. But when it gets more than like an inch or two, then I just bring that snow blower out. And it's not like your little dainty ones that are like... You know, a foot wide. This is, you know, a couple feet wide. Runs with gas and oil. And it it's meant, it's a workhorse. Actually, one time I had the, one of the shear pins broke off and one of the augers stopped working. So I put a bolt in there with a nut. I gotta still go fix that at some point. Oh, did a little flip there. My guy's getting a little tricky on, on this now. You can see the snow went like a dark purple again. Sometimes it gets to the point where actually I just, I stop using it because it messes with me too at, when it does that. All right. 
Looking a lot better. Just gonna knock out these little piles now. So I think we're good to um, use this scraper now. Hopefully it's a lot easier for me. And you can see here, I'm actually making a push from end to end now without it immediately freaking out and dropping a bunch of snow. So I'm super happy with that. Now I make the decision to try to do it backwards and push it into the house. And uh, yeah, I was not happy about that little outcome right there. But you know what? Got to try it. See what happens. All right, so we'll switch back over then and just push it that way. There we go. Drop it off at their little wagon here. Now I want you to tell me guys, is that is it is that grass under us? Is it just a dirty walkway? Because to me, this seems like it's a yard. And we're clearing a yard out. But I don't want to be judgmental. I don't I don't shovel my yard when it snows. Uh, maybe some people out there do, and I just don't realize it's a thing. My guy is not judgmental, though. He will do anything for, for money. <laughs> All right, uh, so what do we need? Uh, we need to start working on this little uh, a cove over to our left. And we're at 86%. We could actually stop right now if we really wanted to, but then you don't get as many stars. But true, once again, star rating is based on time and percentage done. So I imagine there's certain tiers they have to hit regarding time and percentages to get five stars. So 88% now. Now I'm pretty happy. Things are going a lot better now that I kind of figured out this whole knock down the mountains of snow before you uh, push the snow around. All right. So now we need to tackle this over here. Oh, it, oh, oh, oh. it, does, it refuses to let me push off the path right there. So let's try this the other way. And we'll kind of try to not grab too much snow when we push off. That's a lot better. Right, can I try pushing this? Nope. So let's just try scooting some snow over here then. Oh, good. That went a lot better than I thought it was. Maybe we should just turn this channel into like an ASM snow pot. <laughs> ASMR. So, boy, what's going on? You work too long in the cold. Oh my, oh, my dude's sick. Oh, this isn't good. He's got 101 fever. I have no food on me. All right, I hope this doesn't mess with the job. Oh, my vision's blurry too. Oh, and my camera shakes every time I cough. <laughs> Oh, this is not good. Um, <coughs> now I know why they put medicines and stuff in the game. I thought that was just kind of a random chance, but it looks like I've actually worked outside for too long, and I need to go get medication. <coughs> I need to eat food because I'm starving. Oh, my fever's going up. <coughs> Whoa. Not good, not good. All right, so let's hop out. Oh, this poor guy. Uh, all right, so we're going to have to order stuff. Now, I remember, yep, there's, as okay, so aspirins for fever. And then those are hand creams. We do have cough syrup. We'll buy that, too, just in case the cough doesn't go away. All right, so this happened way back in the beginning of the game, but we'll go to the medicine cabinet. <laughs> 
All right, aspirin, okay. Yes, okay, now my fever's gone. I'm gonna take the cough syrup just in case. All right, so we're no longer running a fever. <laughs> and we're not coughing like crazy. That's good. All right, uh, clearing out those notifications. I need food, yeah. There is no food on me. All right, uh, cookies. Take the muffins because they give you, what was it, 800 calories? Yeah. We'll scarf those down. Um, and then in order to not let this happen again, we're actually going to have to buy clothes. So I'm going to buy this work outfit. It's the best one we can afford with the money that we have. Uh, and then the game reminds me, actually, I need to go and put it on. So once again, since I had to reset the game, it showed me some tutorial stuff. But yeah, now it's on, and I think my guy's a lot happier. <laughs> Instead of a thin sweater outside, he's actually wearing clothes that are proper for being outside. Um, I know I didn't really show it too much, but you actually get more inventory as well uh, when you upgrade your suits. Uh, you can hold more in there. I guess what I should be doing is, I don't know if there's a way, if, I guess you would have to check the weather, uh, the weather gauge at the uh, shop to see, you know, what the weather's going to be temperature wise. Because I imagine those hand creams, they say they help with negative temperatures. Uh, so I assume that if you check the weather and it's going to be too cold, you should, you're using those hand creams as well to help you. All right, so we're back on the job site and thankfully it doesn't reset or anything. You know, you can just work on finishing it up. All right, so I think I say before I got cold, I think I'm just gonna turn this into a snow plowing ASMR channel. There has to be somebody out there that really wants something like this. All right, and now we gotta finish this out. And we're at 92, almost 93%, so It's probably best that we did get the suit, because that's probably going to help us out in the future and avoid getting sick and coughing everywhere. Because <laughs> I can only imagine the craziness that comes with that. Alright, so once again, we're just going to knock out these massive piles here. Especially in this one. I think I put that there earlier. So it definitely needs knocked down some. All right. Yeah, I'm so scared to actually push the scraper through here that. I'm just like, okay, you know what? <laughs> We're going to shovel as much down as we can because I'm not going to fight it. And you can see the piles over here. But we're actually getting close to the end with this yard, thankfully. Uh, we learned a lot. This has definitely been a learning experience in this yard when it comes to shoveling down piles of snow, how to handle uh, a scraper that keeps getting overburdened too much. And we got sick. We were out here so long, and got too cold and got sick. Alright, so the last little to-do here. Get this pushed off. It's such a small amount, but it's all grouped together enough that I'm willing to... Uh, ...push through it, just to kind of get my percentage up before I wrap up. Last thing I want to do is get bad reviews. Oh, perfectly scraped the edge right there. Call me the Tony Hawk of snow plowing. All right, so 99% complete. We've got five stars and $200. I'm pretty happy with that. I am not going to complain about that today. All right, and then looking at my map here, we got a new house, but 
Uh, there's this little question mark right here. I can't really highlight it or anything. And so we're actually going to go try to check it out. So it looks like it's in the backyard. So what we'll do is kind of go down here and see what we can find. I have no idea what this question mark is. Oh, well, here's a problem. Uh, so I know it's not easy to tell, but there's like an invisible wall there, so I can't go back any further. And the game's telling me that I can't swim. So I'm thinking that I need to go the other side of the house. But then the problem is I kind of get stuck around here. <laughs> so you can see my arms flapping like crazy. I'm just trying to jump. And then the game gets mad and says, hey, you can't go that way. It's not plop it out. Then I realize I could jump that curb and get up here. Um, so what I do is actually grab the truck here and just back it up. And we'll swing it over to the side in between these two houses. Just left the tractor and the plow there. I'm not too worried about it. No one's yelling at me yet. Alright, so... I think it's right here. Let me take a peek. Yeah, so I seem to be on course with it. So I I let's see all these marks. I don't know what those are. I seem to be on top of it, but there's nothing going on. Oh. Okay, so you can just just clear snow from wherever you want. So does that mean... That, oh, okay, you can't use that. you got to use a regular shovel. So I think the game's trying to tell me that I'm allowed to dig snow here. And now I'm assuming that there's an item in the snow, and i got to dig it out. So let's see what we can find here. I seem to be near the area. Oh, that looks like an odd-shaped item. I'm not going to explain what it looks like. Um, oh, wait. I just saw something by my left foot. Oh! It's a moon. First artifact. Definitely be useful someday. Search for one more to complete the prologue. Okay. Alright, so I found a item, and I think it goes to the Yeti board in the back. Uh, we'll definitely have to check that out. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode, actually. We're going to go ahead and wrap up. And once again, if you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, subscribe. Anything helps boost the channel. So thanks again, y'all, for watching, and I'll catch you later. Have a great day. Bye.